in today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the new Halloween simplicity patterns. Some of these are available on their website. However, most of these I haven't seen posted yet, and the only way to get them is from going to the physical Joanne store. This is not a sponsored video at all, but I thought it might be useful for some of you who are getting ready to make Halloween costumes. Let's start with these two patterns. Since they're both already available on the website, they were just repackaged with this Halloween branding and put on display on top of the pattern cabinets at Joann's. This one is a women's pattern for a coat. Here is the line art for the back of it, if my camera wants to focus. There we go. And this one is for men's tunics. It does not have the shirt underneath. This one has sleeves, short sleeves, no sleeves, but it doesn't have this really cool lace-up shirt that the model is wearing. Here is another men's size jacket pattern, and it's just the jacket. Like, they made these vests to go along with what the models are wearing, but the pattern only has the jacket, so I wonder if maybe in the future we'll see a vest pattern? I don't know. The thing that drew me to this pattern the most, though, is this model, because that is definitely a Deku wig from My Hero Academia. I'm not sure why they put the model in that, but I think it's fantastic. This cape pattern includes sizing for both children and adult. There were more Halloween patterns that were kid-sized, but I didn't purchase them since I don't really sew kids' costumes. And they are interesting because as you can see from the line work, it has this kind of yoke and then the gathered fabric is attached to it, which is an interesting design. I haven't seen a cape pattern shaped like that before. And the one that drew me to this pattern is this cape in particular here. Since it looks an awful lot like the one that Belle wears with her winter outfit in the Disney Beauty and the Beast movie. Next we have this kind of basic Halloween pattern, and by basic I mean it can be adapted to a bunch of different kind of iconic Halloween costumes. So we have Medusa, and then Frankenstein's Bride, or Bride of Frankenstein's Monster, and then we've got kind of this vampire look. But the fun thing about this pattern is it has an extended size range, so this is a plus size pattern. Though, like a lot of Simplicity patterns, you do have to make sure that you have the desired size range printed on the envelope so you don't accidentally purchase the wrong size. Now we have this pattern that, at first glance, looks like just a general holiday outfit collection, but when I was looking at it, I was like, I've seen this before somewhere, and realized that it bears a very strong resemblance to a vintage Halloween illustration that has been pretty popular and Rachel Maxey actually made a recreation of it. So if you want to make that look yourself, this would be a great base starting pattern for it. Also, this outfit down here is almost spot on for a vintage inspired Halloween Barbie look for a doll that came out. I think it is a vintage inspired doll, but it's not actually that old. And then for the pattern back, these are all of the pieces that are included. I should point out that if you're trying to find the illustration for this or other vintage inspired Halloween outfits, use extreme caution when Googling because some of the pictures are incredibly offensive. Lastly, we have these two patterns for tops and bottoms, and they are ones that I think some people are going to be very excited for because they strongly look like the costumes from Six the Musical. And here is the back for the tops and the back for the bottoms. These weren't all of the patterns that they had. These are just the ones that I thought would be most useful to add to my collection. I also bought them during a pattern sale, so they were only $1.99 a piece, so definitely look out for those kinds of 
advertisements because otherwise patterns can be very expensive, so definitely don't pay full price for them. Let me know in the comments below which patterns you're most excited for or which ones you'd like to see me make. Thank you so much for watching.